My name is Bless Nanaro. I write for Business Sense. I would like to see the testimony of past people that have won. I guess some of them here is there a good story to tell about those that have passed through this. Are they employing more people now? Are they adding to the economy? How? Correct, 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 correct. No worry, I can see the beneficiaries are eager to speak. Let's have a few of them. Any other beneficiary here? Or you to come? Ah, many of you. Okay, come, then we'll just make it one, one minute. So let's start with you. Just one minute, you know, what you were doing before you got the, the seed capital from the foundation, what that has done for your business, and what you do now. Actually, I was running a free training weekend on filmmaking and, and photography. Then after I, I got the opportunity from the foundation, after the training, the networking and the seed capital, I was able to establish my own training institute where we now have more students coming in. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Chigaze Bashra. I run the North Place Ventures. Before now, we had Tiger Nut Flour as our maiden product, but we've been able to add coconut flakes to it. And then we've given an additional four people employment opportunities, and we've been able to cover other, like go to supermarkets and put in our goods. So yes, this foundation has been able to give us that opportunity. The networking is amazing. Anywhere they see that logo on our letterhead, they validate us. Thank you very much, sir. Good day, everyone. What may just interest the person that asked the question that I want to share is that I started before Tony Lumilu raising a revenue of 500,000 monthly. Today, I can say with an evidence that I make 3 million on a monthly basis, just processing catfish because the seed capital enabled me to be able to purchase a smoking king. And I've been able to empower five women. We are the first founder uh, winners, 2015. And before we won the grant, we were just a startup entrepreneur. We were barely struggling to get our feet on the ground. But the training and mentoring we got and the seed capital we got have also helped us in growing and scaling up our business. Last year, we did a 20 million naira turnover on our catering business. And presently now, we are building a 10,000 capacity factory. And currently, we have about 25 people working with us. Then we have about 45 full-time, uh, part-time workers that come and serve at our events and, and go. This foundation has really changed our life. Personally for me, I think this is an opportunity for me to just look at Mr. Tony and say thank you for what you have done. Um, I've heard everybody's story, but the truth is sometimes when we sit down and we just imagine what, how big what we've started with that little seed capital can do, you just get excited because you know that the future is so bright. So um, uh, I'm the co-founder of Washers On Demand. So basically we noticed that people see cleaning as the lowest level of jobs. So what we've decided to do is to create a platform where we want to make uh, cleaning as a profession. We want to make it more professional and want to make it more attractive to a lot of people. Even though we have not launched officially, but we are, you know, we're taking jobs, we train people and then we get them cleaning jobs and we know now, by the time we are fully uh, uh, operational, we want to say, okay, at least on the average, let people make 5,000 naira on a daily basis on our platform. And you do that consistently for 20, 25 days. You can imagine that's far better than somebody who earns salary. We couldn't have been here without the support we got from Tony Limiru. Not just the state funding, but even to tweak our business model to suit the kind of impact we want to make. We all got that from the 12 weeks training. And for me, the 12 weeks training is even more important for me than the state funding. And I want to say a big thank you. I must even commend the fact that new persons are planning to sponsor this program. It's interesting that I wasn't among the first 1,000 entrepreneurs that was called in. Uh, along the line, I think somebody didn't pick his place and I had to represent others. It means that I was just maybe in the next line of maybe 200 or 300 other entrepreneurs that was in part of the 1,000. So this additional funding we are getting means that people like me at that time, we have more way to apply and also get to engage in this program. The Tony Lu Foundation is a very great one and I think we need more sponsors to be able to have more persons. I don't think 1,000 to 1,250 is enough. We need 5,000, we need 10,000 persons to be trained yearly and I think we can get to do that. Thank you very much. 
All I can say is I'm very proud of you. And I speak on my behalf and on behalf of the foundation. You know, many people get opportunity, but they don't convert it to the kind of uh, use you have done. So well done. And remember, we are co-travelers in trying to develop Africa.